guys, it's Hex13. In this video, I'm going to give you tips on how to improve your Backtrack 5 operating system. So, um, this isn't probably going to be speed wise, but more of like where you can add to your Backtrack 5. I know people said they were having issues with their audio and stuff like that, and maybe this might help you. So, I don't know. Um, this is stuff that I thought, you know, people should have maybe in their Backtrack 5. So, um, what you want to do is go ahead and open your Backtrack 5. I'm going to use uh, GNOME or G uh, GNOME or whatever you want to call it, Genome. So um, I'm going to open a terminal here. And what I think you guys should install here is you guys have a um, you guys have to have like you know a movie video player for uh, GNOME. So there's different available uh, or different types of programs that are used in GNOME uh, that you could use for the distribution. I think among those, if you're looking for something lightweight, I say you should use Totem Totem uh, Media Player, or you could use uh, M Player. So both of those are good. VLCs, one of my favorites. But if you want something that's lightweight, we're gonna install. Uh, totem. So you type in sudo apt-get install totem dash g streamer. Now you can install these using the Ubuntu or the software manager, but I'm just going to install them through terminal here. Um, it also might help you guys have a better understanding of using the terminal too with the commands. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter and install this. Um, this also depends on your, you know, your bandwidth or your internet speed here. So you just might have to take, it might take a while. Um, but I'm going to do this as quick as I can. And if it's going to take long, I'm going to go, I'm going to pause it during the videos. Okay, it's almost finished here. All right, now the next one that I want to uh, install here is besides, like I said, besides just the totem, the totem media player, you can install VLC if you want. I'm not going to install VLC, but you can. Um, they have a VLC version for Linux, or that's under the Ubuntu Software Center, if you want to use that. Um, but I'm not going to install VLC for right now. Uh, the next one I think you guys should install is the uh, Team Viewer. So you want to, if you like Team Viewer, if you ever heard of it, uh, Team Viewer is probably one of the best software for desktop sharing. That's probably available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Um, so I think, yeah, we're gonna have to go to their site and then download the copy, and then we're gonna use Terminal to install that. So. Team Viewer. Okay. Now it's going to say, you know, we got all types of versions here to install Linux. I'm going to click the Linux tab. And I'm going to choose what I'm using is Backtrack 5 is uh, Ubuntu 32 bit. I know there's a 64 bit, but this one's the 32 bit. So I'm going to download that, save it to the desktop. And I'm just going to close Firefox there. Let that download. My internet speed is not fast, as you can see. But um, once that's done, I'm going to come back, let you guys come back, and we'll continue this. So I'm going to pause it real quick. All right, guys. Welcome back. I finished downloading Team Viewer here. So what you want to do is type in to install this. In terminal is sudo dpkg space dash i Team Viewer underscore Linux dot deb. Um, actually, you know what? I think we're gonna need to drag and drop that in here. There we go because it's going to need the location. There we go. All right, that's installed. App, get, install, 
empathy. All right, I'm going to say yes. Like I said, just depends on your internet speed here. I, it honestly should not take too long considering these programs are pretty decently small. So just hang in tight there. Now, if it's going to take about a minute or two, I might pause it, but it looks like it might just take 30 seconds. Um, yeah, but the purpose of this video I wanted to tell you guys was this is, you know, tips that will, you know, maybe make your Backtrack 5 a lot better, programs that I recommend for Backtrack 5. Um, also, it, it, it might even make you guys switch to Backtrack 5 as maybe your main desktop. I don't know. There's a lot of things about that too, why people may not use their Backtrack 5 as their main desktop, and that would be maybe they don't feel secure doing it, or as root, stuff like that, and maybe their wireless and their audio don't work too. That's what I've ran into too. Okay, now it's finished. Uh, installing Empathy. I'm going to clear the screen. We're going to go ahead and install... Um, a PDF reader. Let's go ahead and install PDF reader for Linux. Um, I know a lot of people have installed Adobe, but I I think we should use Foxit reader, and a Foxit reader is really great. I like using Foxit. So let's go ahead to their website. Uh, I'm gonna go to Firefox. Type in Foxit reader. Debian. Here we are. Okay. Download. All right. For desktop Linux, here we are. Right here, let's grab this. Save it to the desktop. All right, so that's gonna take about two minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it again. All right, welcome back, and we got the Foxit reader downloaded. So we're going to use the same command we did for Team Viewers sudo dpkg-i, and then we're going to drag and drop it. It's right here on the desktop. Press Enter. Ooh. Okay, there we go. All right, it's already installed there, and we're going to clear the screen. I'm going to clean up the desktop. I'm kind of don't like stuff on there right now. All right. Now we got the PDF free. We got empathy. We got a zip, team viewer, and a video player, or a music player, whatever you want to call it. Um, the next thing I also recommend, you know, sometimes you might type some things. I know uh, if you look under assessors, you know, you got your G edit text editor. This is optional. If you don't, you know, if you don't want it, you don't have to download or install. It. You know, these are just recommendations by me. My opinion, you know, you don't have to install any of these. Uh, I think you should have an office for your Backtrack 5 or, a, you know, for Linux. Um, and I always had recommended Open Office or um, LibreOffice. Both, you know, are great best solutions for office users um, you know it's open source as well you know it works for all types of operating systems or platforms so to install that we're going to type sudo apt git install open office dot org and there's going to be a bunch of files in here now um, it says it's going to need additional space you know that's all that's going to be installed. So that's up to you if you want to install it. Uh, honestly, that would take a while to install. So, and I don't have very much hard drive space for the virtual machine. So I'm going to say no. I don't want to take up that space. But that's up to you. That's just you know, a uh, just a recommendation that I would think that you might like. Um, now the software manager. You, you know you're gonna need a something to look up search and get the right software for you that you know for your you know for a backtrack five that you need so 
I think you should install K. And um, to install K, that's sudo app git install K. Now, I know some of you guys probably are saying, you know, why are you using sudo? I'm just used to using sudo. I know that I'm working under root right now. Um, yes, yeah, sudo should be only used when you have your own account. But I'm just used to using it so much, you know, that I don't, you know, I don't like it coming back and throwing me back in error in Linux. So, okay, that's going to um, install. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. Be right back. Okay, welcome back, guys. Kate is done installing. Um, now we're going to install... Um, I was just thinking, you know, f f we need a firewall for Linux here. I don't think Backtrack 5 comes with a firewall. So I think we're going to install a firewall here. So if, have you ever checked your ports when you were using, you know, Every's in map and check your ports? If no, then, you know, you're left in the dark pretty much. You got, you know, you got your open ports. You, those are your weakest points of security. You want you want to make sure that you have closed ports, and by closing your ports in Linux, but um, it's you know that's a good thing. You want that uh, by using the firewall. So I think you should have a firewall starter. It's a great firewall for starting out. Um, if you ever used it before, it's great. So we're gonna go ahead and install that by typing sudo apt git install fire starter and it should not take too long alright that was very fast to install okay the next thing I think you should install like um but if you already installed empathy another good one I've heard is Gwibber if you know if that's what you want to call it it's G W I B B E R so um I think Ubuntu have came, has came with that before, um, and then maybe they have switched to Empathy because I've seen Empathy on there as well. Uh, but it uses you know Twitter, Facebook, and a, you know maybe a lot more uh, platforms too. So everyone has their own unique taste. I like Empathy, but if you like Gwibber, you know maybe you should install Gwibber. So to install that, it's sudo apt git install Gwibber. If that, if that's how you pronounce it. I honestly don't know. Uh, I'm going to say yes. That one should not take too long as well. And then the next one we're going to be installing would be uh, an FTP client for connecting with, you know, uh, file sharing, uh, file transfer protocol. That's what FTP is. If you never heard heard of or seen FTP before, um, I've also used a few other clients uh, for FTP also. But the one I think we're going to be using uh, is GFTP. So clear, and then to install GFTP is sudo apt get install gftp yes that one should be fairly quick okay I'm going to clear the screen again um, now I know I've been getting messages on YouTube saying if you're experienced you know you've been having problems with sound or voice problems on Backtrack 5 then you're gonna need codex or you might have like, restrictions from Ubuntu preventing you from using it so um, to help you to get those work um, we're gonna we're gonna try to get you um, your audio and your voice working so this may not work for all of you it just depends what your hardware is out there what you use but for those who I do help you know let me know in the comments um, that'd be great uh, so we're going to type sudo app get install ubuntu restrict restricted extras 
and you might have seen that before in the uh, Ubuntu Software Center. Um, this is probably going to take a, a while, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and come back. So I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. And now we have finished installing the Ubuntu restricted areas, or extra, sorry. Um, I, the last thing we could do is to upgrade the system. So sudo, sorry, sudo apt get and, and then update or upgrade, yeah, upgrade. And then, you know, there's some upgrades there for the SS, SQL map, uh, Brew, SQL Ninja, Wireshark, etc. So I'm gonna say yes, and yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty bad about the updating the Backtrack Five. I haven't really updated it in a while. I should be doing that more often, um, because I know I've been telling you guys up, keep your guys' update, and I know mine's not. So I apologize for that. Um, but once that's done, the next thing you can do is, like I said, update and then you know we should be good to go um but yeah you know rate comment subscribe you know let me know what you guys think uh on the videos that i've been posting lately for you guys uh the tips you know let me know if they were good tips if you like them you know or if they were bad tips you know i need to have feedback you know so then i know what I can improve over the videos you know I want to hear from you guys um, so yeah uh, thanks for watching guys I appreciate it um, I guess I'll talk to you guys later see ya